1998, the summer before I started high school, my family lost our home in East Palo Alto, California. Of course, there's the trauma of unstable housing, but there's also this very specific trauma around losing family photographs, images that you may never see again, but only have a faint memory of. Around 2010, I began collecting black vernacular photographs from flea markets, antique stores, and eventually eBay. Certainly, I was trying to cope, right? I was looking for images that reminded me of images that I had lost. I was looking for uh, images that reminded me of moments of joy, even if I didn't remember the photograph itself. And in this process of searching for these photographs, I was exposed to an entire ecosystem, an entire world of black vernacular photographs that were being circulated as commodity. They were being circulated um, outside um, the communities from which they came, outside the families from which they came. And I became very disturbed and curious about what it meant for these private moments to be sold by dealers, what it meant for buyers, what they were intending to do with them. And so now with over 4,000 photographs in my collection, Black Orbits is sort of an attempt to sort of take these images out of circulation to both identify and create more ethical conditions under which to share these photographs. Black Orbits is an archival project, a digital archival project that lives at the intersection of Black privacy and interiority, the archival impulse to collect and share, and these contemporary controversies over the ownership of Black vernacular photographs. I'm working in collaboration with creative technologists, designers, and interface designers to basically figure out how do we build in a web-based culture that makes space for care, intentionality, and rituals of patience and slow reading. So instead of just an archive of photographs of Black folks doing things, I'm interested in sort of the conceptual framework of care, the conceptual framework of digital cultures, and the conceptual frameworks of ethics in the process of looking. How do we look with care? How do we look with a strong ethos and values that takes care of and is attuned to the privacy, the needs, the interiority of the folks depicted? And how do we think through questions around permission for sharing? How do we think through questions um, of repatriation of these images? How do we think through questions of permanence? And so this Creative Capital Grant provides a great opportunity for me to think through these issues in a long-term fashion and to really collaborate with a range of individuals and organizations to make this project, which has mostly lived in my head for the past 12 years, into a reality.